Hello and welcome to Crop Clinic at SRC in Edinburgh. My name is Maciej, I'm a plant pathologist and my role at SRC is managing our Crop Clinic operations. Crop Clinic is based at SRC Edinburgh campus and is located within University of Edinburgh King's Buildings campus. Similarly to medical doctors in some sense, our job as plant doctors is often difficult but it is also very rewarding to be able to advise our customers how to deal with plant health related problems, try to fix them and provide help, guidance and support. Crop Clinic interacts with all major departments within SREC structure and its main activities. Our research activity mainly involves using the existing diagnostic methods and tools and developing new ones to help identify pests, pathogens, and other causes of the problems encountered by crop growers. Using the tools allow us to communicate the findings we generate to consultants nationwide or connect directly with the clients. We also are involved in teaching delivery of various courses provided by SRC and associated universities in Scotland. Crop cleaning operation is similar to that of general practice. However, there are also elements of accident in an emergency service when we need to deal with cases which require immediate attention. Much of what we do day to day is using a combination of fundamental and applied microbiology and pathology skills. And we work with a wide range of microorganisms and various invertebrates. Even serious problems can have a fun side. For example, these amusingly shaped vegetables being one. Although arable crops are our biggest crop acreage, they make up a small portion of plants' patients. Many cases we handle relate to problems with cash crops. Issues are often complex and could have many causes. Therefore, it is particularly important that our investigations are thorough and evidence-based. Big pictures, picture assessment is often needed. Quite often the problem is not pathogenic in origin. These are examples of even uneven fertilizer application, nutrient deficiency, spray scorch or uneven liming. Identifying the problem is just the beginning. What can be done about it is usually far more complex and often there are multiple decision makers involved, us, the agronomist and ultimately the farmer. Good decision making requires thorough inspection on site and accurate diagnosis. In order to judge the risk and make decisions, we use a variety of information available to us. Disease pressure varies each season. Monitoring and surveillance are important tools in integrated pest and disease management approach. As part of our activities, knowledge, knowledge exchange is particularly important. This is done by a variety of resources, such as conferences and meetings, website, social media and bulletins. We also organize open events at our field trial sites. We are involved in teaching delivery and train future agronomists and horticulturists in Scotland and elsewhere. I'll now talk about just a very few examples of cases we normally handle at Crop Clinic. Rincosporium Community on the left is the major yield rover in Scottish barley, but the clinic hardly sees it, as everyone recognises its uh, shape of the lesions. Many cases often require wide range investigation, such as this amino, amino pyrrolid damage in tomatoes on the right hand side. In this case, the pesticide was used to remove grass. Dead grass clippings were then used to form compost. We get lots of plants with spots which resemble the ramularia leaf spot. It is often quite difficult to correctly identify ramularia symptoms. This case was not it and the spots were related to stressed plants because of flooding. Not all the spots are ramularia. In this case, there was a mysterious patch of dead grass in the customer's garden. Not many clues here. The grass is dead, but the dandelions are a bit more hardy. 
but other pictures showed the story. Hedges are a major cause of garden disputes. Here the neighbor has tried to poison the hedge, and herbicide has seeped out into the grass. The hedge is actually fine. Many cases are not associated with microorganisms or pests. In this instance, this is severe manganese deficiency, which could also be mistaken for a scourge, except for the intervenal pattern. Here we have an uneven lime spreading and severe manganese deficiency as a result. The pattern in the field and the history of the field operations gave the clues. Ergot in seed is a major reason for rejections at intake by merchants and costly to growers as a result. Sometimes we get asked to confirm when a grower is unhappy a grain load has been rejected. Sometimes it turns out to be rat droppings instead. Leather jacket damage in spring cereals we see more of recently. This is associated with the withdrawal of chlorpyrifos. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this presentation informative and useful. Have a great day.